Today, on Understanding the Unseen, why was it that only Daniel could see the man with the fiery eyes? And how was the rest of the group affected by something they could not see? I asked myself these questions after reading this chapter. We'll be in Daniel 10. Daniel's vision of a man. Daniel chapter 10. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, Daniel was given a revelation containing a message. Its message was true and it concerned a great war. The understanding of the message came to him in a vision. At that time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice food, no meat or wine, touched his lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. On the 24th day of the first month, I was standing on the bank of the river Tigris. I looked up and there before me was a man dressed in linen with a belt of fine gold from Upaz around his waist. His body was like topaz. His face was like lightning. His eyes like flaming torches. His arms and legs like like gleam of burnishing bronze, and his voice like a sound of a multitude. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision. Those who were with me did not see it, but such terror overwhelmed them that they fled and hid themselves. What did Daniel have that the rest of the group didn't? Was it some sort of goggles or seeing device? We could question his sanity or even accuse him of being drunk. But if he was insane or drunk, how then was the rest of the group overwhelmed by such terror? I do believe it's exactly what Daniel had. If we go back to the beginning of chapter 10, we see exactly what Daniel was given. He was given a revelation containing a message. In verse 2, we learn that Daniel just finished a fast and that this vision of a man brought understanding. So, what is taking place here is simply communication. Communication within a divine relationship between God and Daniel. In order for Daniel to experience these revelations, God had to know that he was ready. To become ready, Daniel had dedicated himself to the Word of God. He also had just finished a 21-day fast to deepen his relationship with God. Now, because Daniel proved himself loyal, God gave him the sight for this vision and understanding for the message. And that message was that Jesus Christ is coming. So overall, this story is a comparison of different perceptions that God gives us through our love and dedication. So, we must begin to understand that God's kingdom is already here, just not visibly perceived. But, we show our dedication and love for God by believing in the unseen. And friends, that's called faith.